Hey guys, I'm Sebastian, host of Ninth Island Connection, your weekly lifestyle resource for all things Vegas. Check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. And if you're not already, give us a subscribe. All we do is bring you Vegas. You will not be disappointed. In this video, which you probably already know because of the thumb that you clicked on, we're bringing you the pros and cons. Again, this is our opinion of staying downtown. Now, of course, we have to start with the first pro, which is going to be that it's iconic. There's so much history down here. This was the original downtown. This is where the first paved street was. It was actually Fremont Street. And this was also the location for the very first traffic light. The Rat Pack performed here. I mean, this was the very start of casinos in the home of the mob. So just because of the history, this is definitely a pro. Another pro, which I'm sure you'll agree if you've stayed down here, is that you have access to several properties and it's really a small condensed area of walkable casinos. You've actually got 12 properties down here seven of which are on the Fremont Street experience. You've got the Golden Nugget, the Fremont, which is undergoing a renovation, the D, Four Queens, Binions, Golden Gate, and Circa. Four nearby, which are the Plaza, the Cal, Main Street, and the Downtown Grand. You also have the El Cortez, which is right across Las Vegas Boulevard in the East Fremont area. Another pro is that there's less walking than there is on the strip. You can easily get from one end to the other and navigate the seven properties so much faster than you would on Las Vegas Boulevard because you don't have all of the crosswalks, the mobs of people, so much easier to get from property to property. And under the canopy, you don't, you don't have the direct sunlight so in the summer months, it is cooler than walking the Las Vegas Strip. Another pro is lower table minimums. You know, the downtown area really has a focus on gambling and entertainment. So when it comes to gambling, you're gonna have lower table limits throughout the Fremont Street experience where you can play all of your favorites like Pie Gal that you can find for $10, Blackjack for five bucks, penny slot machines. I mean, all of your favorites you're gonna find here. They also have several tournaments like blackjack, slot machines, and poker. Now, they do have these on the strip from time to time, but in the downtown area, they seem to have them throughout the entire year. You're also gonna have access to a variety of restaurants and bars. You've got bars outside, like outside of the D and Circa. You've got many restaurants, everything from McDonald's to Oscar's Steakhouse. You also have restaurants and dining over on the East Fremont side. Definitely fish. recommend checking that out if you're staying in the Fremont Street area. You also have quick access to the Container Park and the Arts District that's gonna offer even more dining and drinking options. So definitely a big pro. Another pro is that typically the room rates are lower as well as the resort fees, parking, and you really don't find those extra fees like casino surcharge, and kind of that extra stuff that you do find on the Strip. Another pro is everything that you have access to once you step outside into the Fremont Street experience. You're gonna notice up above is a canopy of video screens. Now this is where they have the Viva Vision Light Show, which is a series of music and video performances that go on throughout the night. You're also gonna find several stages throughout the Fremont Street experience. Now here they have live music throughout the week and weekend, especially in the summer months. 
Now, this is all free, with the exception of a couple of concerts that they have around New Year's and bigger events where you might have to buy a ticket to enter the Fremont Street experience. But majority of the year, all of this entertainment is free. And you could find a list of bands on the Fremont Street Experiences website. So check them out for the lineup of concerts. This is definitely a pro. Fremont Street Experience is the place to be in Vegas for big events. This is where you're going to go for the Santa Run, Halloween, St. Patrick's Day is amazing down here. So much fun. So if you're coming down around a holiday weekend, even July 4th, this is definitely the place to be for those big events. Another pro and one of the things that folks really don't like about being on the strip is being harassed by street performers and people just trying to get your money. Down on the Fremont Street experience, you'll notice that they have circles throughout the experience. These are designated for the street performers. They actually have to stay in that circle and do their thing for whatever period of time they get in that circle. So you don't have as many people just approaching you while you're walking down enjoying yourself. Another pro is the people watching. Now, some of the people watching is, of course, going to be the entertainers. And by entertainer, it's anyone in that circle. So you're going to have everything from folks making um, roses out of tea leaves to naked nuns with tassels. Um, they're considered an entertainer. They're spending time in that circle. And the other people watching, people are having fun. It's such a great vibe and the energy is high. I love being down there and just seeing people enjoy themselves, having a great time. If you've been down here, you may remember a time where you just did not cross Las Vegas Boulevard. Well, now you do. You have easy access to East Fremont Street and the Container Park, where you're gonna find entertainment, you're gonna find gambling, you're gonna find fantastic food and a really great experience. This is really a big pro because you're going to find that you're gonna have great food, delicious drinks at a much lower rate than you would find on the Strip. You're also gonna find the El Cortez, which the El Cortez used to be kind of shady if we're all being honest here. Now, this is a trendy, fun place to be. They've put a lot of money into renovating the casino area and making it an area that's attractive and safe for visitors. If you're looking for something to do other than gambling, you're gonna have great quick access to the Neon Museum, which is where all the old neon signs are stored and renovated. You've got the Smith Center, right down there where you're going to have Broadway shows at your fingertips. You also have access to the Mob Museum, which is really walkable right down the street there. The Mob Museum houses all of this old mob and crime memorabilia from Las Vegas. It's a really cool experience. They've even got a speakeasy in the basement where they make their own booze. You definitely have to at least check that part out. If you come to Vegas in the summer, you've probably got pool days on your list while you're here. That's a big draw for the Strip. They've got the big day clubs and pool parties, all of that. You have that in the downtown area as well. You've got the tank, for example, at the Golden Nugget. They have live music, they've got an adults only pool, they've got several bars, they've got blackjack that you can play poolside, they've got food, they've got cabanas, everything that you find on the strip. But what they have that nobody on the strip does is a slide where you can go through an actual shark tank. Yes, a shark tank in the pool, pretty crazy. You also have stadium swim. 
This one is open all year long. It's a rooftop pool with a massive television screen where you can watch all of your sports. They also have cabanas, they've got food, they've got drinks. It's really a party atmosphere down there. This is a big pro for the downtown area. Now let's get into the cons. If you guys have some pros that you think I missed, drop them in the comments below. The very first con is going to be, it's dirty. It's dirty downtown. I don't know if it's the canopy or what, but the ground seems a lot dirtier than it is on the strip. You're also going to have a lot more crime than you do on the strip. With that, you're going to have homeless. There are homeless throughout the Fremont Street experience for obvious reasons, right? You've got the canopy to provide shelter. You've got access to drunk people that are going to be dropping stuff. They're going to be begging and asking you for different things down there. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that all homeless people are bad people, but down in the Fremont Street experience, there seem to be more opportunists that may have drug and alcohol issues. So just be aware of that. One of the things you're going to want to make sure when you're down on the Fremont Street experience is that you kind of stick to the Fremont Street experience, the Cal Plaza, Main Street Station, and the East Fremont area, because that seems to be a lot safer. As soon as you step outside of those areas, the homeless are more prevalent and there seems to be more crime in those areas outside of the Fremont Street experience. But there is also a lot of revitalization happening outside of Fremont Street experience as the downtown area continues to grow. So this is something that's definitely being addressed by the city. One big con that I share with a lot of you is that it does get really crowded down there, especially during events when they have big live music, like they had Shaggy down there on the third street stage. It was standing room only. You know what? That is not for me. I don't feel comfortable in that type of environment and you may not either. So be aware of that when you're planning your trip down to Fremont Street Experience. Even outside of concerts, when you have events like Halloween, St. Patrick's Day, the Santa Run, it can be very difficult just walking the East Fremont Street area and the Fremont Street Experience because there are so many people. So you wanna be aware of the time of year that you're going to be staying in Vegas if you're looking at the downtown area. Another con, depending on what you're looking for in your Vegas vacation, you're not gonna find the big day clubs and nightclubs like you have down on the Strip. So if you're coming down here looking for a Hakkasan, a Dre's type experience, you're not gonna find it in the downtown area. However, you do have clubs in downtown Las Vegas in the East Fremont area. They have the We All Scream. It's an ice cream club thing that they have down there. You've got the Corduroy. You've got um, Therapy Las Vegas that has different parties in the evenings. So you do have a club atmosphere downtown. It's just very limited and not like the mega clubs that they have on the Strip. Another con is that you really don't have as many pool options. And some of the pools are really just rectangles in the top of a building, not a pool experience that you're gonna find on the strip. So the pool opportunities are gonna be very limited in the downtown Las Vegas area. So if you're coming down to Vegas and looking to just have pool parties and this great pool experience, Outside of Golden Nugget and Circa, you really aren't gonna have very many options. Another con is that the properties are much older than a lot of properties on the Strip. So you're not gonna have as many big extravagant properties like you do on the Las Vegas Strip. You're not gonna find like a win type experience or Venetian 
type experience with gondola rides and the shops and all of that stuff. That just doesn't exist in the downtown Las Vegas area. Another con, if you watch our videos, you're probably familiar with Carlos, who is our dog that we always bring with us whenever we stay in Vegas. Not many of the properties are pet friendly. Actually, only two of them are. The Golden Nugget, which we have stayed at with Carlos, and the Downtown Grand, which is actually outside of the Fremont Street experience. So if you're looking to come to Vegas and bring a pet, your options are extremely limited in the downtown area. Another con is that the properties, because they're older, are gonna be a lot smokier than the Strip. If you've been to the Las Vegas Strip and thought any of the properties were smoky, then that's only gonna be amplified in the downtown area. They are older properties with older ventilation and are gonna be a lot smokier than the Strip. The last con is going to be the retail. If you're coming down here and looking for places that you can do some shopping, maybe for yourself or friends and family back home, your options are gonna be extremely limited. Now, with that, you have quick access to the North Premium Outlet Malls. You're gonna jump in a lift, head on out to the outlet center, and you'll find all of the retail. But unlike the Strip, where you've got shopping right along Las Vegas Boulevard, many retail opportunities you've got the fashion show you've got the shops at crystals you've got the miracle mile shops that has retail that doesn't really exist in the downtown area you're going to have to jump in a lift and head on out to the outlet mall or head to the strip for a day of shopping this one here is going to be a pro and a con downtown area is a party atmosphere you're going to find tourists and locals of all ages, all ages, partying hard in Vegas, having that real Vegas party experience. If that's not for you, then stay away. <laughs> all right, guys, that's a wrap on what are, in our opinion, the pros and cons of staying in downtown Las Vegas. But we want to hear from you. Did we miss anything? Were there some pros, some cons that maybe you feel we got wrong? Anything that you want to share, drop it in the comments below. We're always looking to hear from you guys. We appreciate you guys supporting our channel. If you haven't already, give us a like, subscribe. I mean, what's not to like and why wouldn't you subscribe? All we do is bring you Vegas. And you're watching this video because you love Vegas. If you're not already, check us out on social media. We're on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Check us out. Also, check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.